close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice where you feel it when it comes in and where you feel it when it goes out. Let your attention settle there. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just try to be as still as possible right here with the breath. Now, of course, other things will come up, but you don't have to pay any attention to them. Keep your focus right here. You want to learn how to keep your focus so that it's not distracted. Because as with any task, if you get distracted, you don't really get it, the job done well. Here we want to watch the mind. Watch the mind clearly, continually. That's the only way you're going to learn about it. We've listened to Dharma talks, we've read what the Buddha had to teach. But you actually have to see it in action to see, oh yes, when the mind does this, it actually causes suffering. When it does that, it puts an end to the suffering. You have to see this happen for it really to reach the heart. Because that's what all the practices of merit are all about. We practice generosity as a way of training the heart. So it really does reach the heart, the fact that your happiness doesn't have to depend on taking things all the time, that it can depend, and in fact it gets a lot nicer when it's based on giving. The same with virtue. You begin to realize that by restraining your impulses, you actually end up happier. And other people are happier, too. This is the kind of happiness we want. That's something that's spread around. Even more so with the meditation, we're focusing directly on the mind, to get the mind under control here, keep it focused on one thing. And when it's focused, then you can watch it. And John Fuhrman gave the analogy. He says, if you're trying to catch an animal, you, f you find some bait that it likes. So here the bait is the sense of pleasure in the mind. A sense of pleasure with the breath that the mind really can settle in with and be at ease with. So if the breath is not comfortable, change it so that it is. This way all the, everything comes together right here at the mind. All the practices of the teaching focus in right here. So that this spot gets really well trained. Because once this spot is well trained, then where do your actions come from? They come from here. Where do your words come from? They come from here. Your thoughts come from here. And if right here is in good shape, then your thoughts, words, and deeds are likely to be good. So focus on straightening out this spot inside. This way, uh, the merit that we make in being generous and virtuous gets completed. And we do this for the sake of a complete happiness, a complete well-being. Well, the causes have to be complete, too. So make sure that the mind gets trained every day, every day. It's the most important thing we have. So you have to want to look, take. <clears throat> you want to take good care of it. We brush our teeth every day. We wash the body every day. We make sure make sure that we straighten out our mind every day too. Because if something goes wrong with the mind, okay, then we're really bad shape. But as long as the mind is in good shape, then no matter what else happens, you're safe. So focus all your attention right here. Your primary focus should be right here. This is where all the good things in life come from. This is where a lot of the bad things in life can come from, too, if you're not careful. So try to be heedless and taking good care of the, excuse me, try to be heedful and taking good care of the mind.